Welcome to video five, Bunny Strikes Back. Uh, this is Roman Army 2021 UW uh, lecture on combat. And in this fifth short video, uh, I'm going to say a little bit about filling in the pieces and what happens at the end. So we've got it. We got it. We got to be short and sweet, or else we'll be here forever. So cutting out all sorts of important things. Okay. So what have we done? We've done lots of things. The sources for open battle, the course of much of an open battle, the role of tactics, a bit on bravery. Tactics, of course, implies discipline and order and effective communications, but they're taking heads and they want prizes and they're doing one-on-one -on -one battles. So there's all this stuff happening. And then we come to this. Okay. So kind of back to the evidence and kind of to the end. So... What happens when they do actually come close together? Okay, so what happens when the Roman side meets the other Roman side, or the Roman side meets the German side, the Parthian side, etc.? And one of the things that the um, the sources then leave, like one of the many things they don't get into, are what what happens? Do they just suddenly start like charging? You see in movies, ah, swords flashing, and then. These one-on-one -on -one duels are really just guys clashing and crashing against each other and stabbing and slashing and horses here and poo there and whatever else. Um, and, uh, you know, the reason why you can get a lot of variety in movies, I mean, you can imagine it would be that way, is that we don't have the... We don't have the accounts of this, so you got to try and fill in the gaps. And obviously it can make for some slightly different versions. You're going to look at... Um, Here's three, and if we were in person, we would watch. Probably I get sued or something. I don't know, copyright. So, you know, you can watch the battle in, um, you know, there's a, some of the, some of what happens is illustrated in the Gladiator movie. If you watch Rome in the opening scene, you know, they've got a whistle, the first scene of the first episode of Rome, and he blows the whistle, and they turn shields, and some guy comes out, and some move back, and yeah, maybe that's what happens while the barbarians are charging against them. And then Rise or Reese or whoever he is has another option. So, um, you know, there are some general points that we know about, okay, as I've sort of been touching on. Um, you try to stay together, so discipline is important. You know, there could be these individual acts of bravery, sometimes, you know, risk and reward being calculated. You stay together, you stay in line, odds are good. One thing you don't want to do is be surrounded. You can surround the enemy, then you can, you know, close in on them and uh, cut them down. Um, although some felt that maybe this is, you know, maybe don't entirely enclose them, that might embolden them and whatever. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, but once one side gave way in the fighting and the other side turned and fled and presumably what happens not usually the, there's like a moment where they're like hey uh, i think we're done here and they stop and they walk away usually one side turns and flees and the other one goes charging after them and you know so many questions uncertainties what happens when they meet and blah blah um so what am i getting at so with the, for all the, the stabby stabby and so on that might happen when two sides come together, sword play and what have you, and their training coming to bear, there might be a, a fair number of wounds, and many of those wounds might eventually lead to death. But so far as we know, evidence suggests or implies that a lot of the casualties actually took place, and I'm using casualties to mean like deaths, uh, in the route at the end so when one side gives away and starts withdrawing running fleeing whatever and the other side runs them down and stabs them in the back that's often when a lot of the things happen now it's interesting um for romans you know you don't want to be they have all these views on well i guess we're gonna come back to this because maybe next week on um if you get wounded where's a good place to be wounded well the face sort of the front because that means you were facing your enemy. If you get wounded in the back, the suggestion is, you know, that's because you were running away, turning away. So Romans don't like to do that. So, yeah, so there you go. End of battle. One side win. And there are other things that would happen then, too, if they turned and won and the other side fled. 
You might uh, you might be, make sure you bury your own dead. You bury them then and there. You're not transporting any bodies back. You know you might return some remains, possibly if they're an officer or something. And hopefully a mass fire, cremation, big holes in the ground, whatever. Um, possibly some more religious performances, but also gathering up of prizes, taking things from the dead, all sorts of stuff would happen then. Okay, so that's my end of open battle video. The next three are on sieges. Uh, live long and prosper.